Hey everybody, just wanted to show you guys a, a cool, cool little gun I have here. It is an AMT 380 backup. Look at this little guy. So it's like a little pocket gun. Um, I'll show it to you. Let's take the tour here. AMT 380 backup. It is unloaded. Stainless steel, made in the USA, right here in California. So they stopped making this gun quite a while ago. Um, this is an older version of it as well. The, uh, some of the newer versions have a bit of a, a larger, larger trigger guard. Um, and then the newer ones also were double action only. Uh, this is a single action. So it, it kind of looks, to me, it kind of like, looks like a little 1911. That's uh, one of my favorite things about it. It's got the grip safety here, so you have to be holding it to engage it to fire. And it's got the manual thumb safety right here. So, pretty cool. AMT 380 backup. So some things about this, they uh, originally the marketing slogan for this was uh, the smallest, most powerful backup weapon available. Uh, that's of course because they made this in 45 ACP. Uh, this little thing in 45 ACP would be a little fireball. But uh, I think the 380 was the, the most most common. They had the most production run of the 380. So you can carry five rounds. Five rounds. That's a little 380 round right there. Everything I've read about this gun, um, it, I haven't tried cycling hollow points through it. Uh, everything I use is full metal jacket. Uh, even when I carry it, I carry it with full metal jacket. Um, so I don't know how hollow points would work. So the good and the bad, uh, you know, it's got a two and a half inch barrel. Um, it's very small. So in your hand, it's small. This thing is really nice right here. The little ex pinky extension because um, it gives you something to actually grab onto, and it feels pretty comfortable. You're not going to be taking 100 yard shots with this bad boy though, trying to take down a moose or something. But uh, you know, if you had to use it as a backup weapon or, or even a primary everyday carry, something like that, it's absolutely fine. It can hold five rounds in the magazine. Five in the magazine, you can also carry one in the pipe if you wanted. That's the magazine. So good and the bad, uh, you know, definitely good is the size it's very comfortable uh, good and bad is the weight the weight to it um, it's obviously stainless steel very very heavy I, I put it on the uh, on my postal scale came up just about 17 ounces um, uh, you know a lot of times people come you know when you're looking at small 380s the most one of the most common is the Ruger LCP uh, in in 380 uh, that's about half the weight of this bad boy so the uh, stainless steel kind of makes it a little heavier <laughs> so it's definitely not polymer um, but it definitely feels really good it feels made to last you know worst thing comes worse you could just whack them in the head with it because like I said it is a, a chunk of steel um, the sights on it are, are laughable you know but again you're not shooting for for distance let's see if we can see the sights there you go that's what you got but it's more of a point-and-shoot weapon so if you did have to use this you'd have to just point it in the right direction and, and let it fly um, it has a concealed hammer one of the bad things about it, it has no slide lock there's nothing at all no mechanism to hold it back so that's one of the bad things um, single action so when you pull the trigger boom it drops the hammer uh, obviously semi-automatic so it'll it'll cock itself but uh, yeah, it's a cool little gun just wanted to show it to you it's not one that you necessarily see every day but if you do see one I would I would strongly suggest grabbing it um, you know it's never gonna be worth a million dollars but uh, you know they're they're only worth a couple hundred bucks they're probably you know two three hundred dollars whatever whatever they go for but pretty cool little gun I would definitely suggest looking into it. If you ever do see one for the right price, grab it. It's a cool gun. If nothing else, pick it up and hold it, feel it. 
AMT stands for Arcadia Machine and Tool AMT pretty cool gun any questions put them in the comments thanks everybody